How's it going everyone? Dan here, welcome back to Dan Plays Bonnie Vazic After Birth. More randoms because randoms. Sammy Sound. Oh man, it's a good morning. It's a good Saturday morning. Why is it a good Saturday morning? Every Saturday is a good Saturday morning, especially when you have just a single day of work before you go on vacation from work and then have no work. I don't know what I'm going to do over, get that mouse cursor off of there. I don't even know if you guys can even see the mouse cursor. I think I have that option disabled, but I don't even know what, I know, what, I don't even know what I'm going to do for vacation yet. I mean, other than the holiday world trip, I don't think I'll be able to do too much more than that. Oh no, not this room. Not all the hoppers that are on fire and subsequently are faster and hop more. I will kill you all. Oh man. Anyways, hope you guys are doing alright today. I'm doing pretty good. Ow. I'm doing pretty good for a Saturday morning. I mean, I should be. I mean, Saturday mornings are usually just today. It's time to relax. I think I should be able to sit down and pl uh, finish the rest of Super Mario 64 and prepare for the next couple Let's Plays. I don't really know. Again, don't really know what I'm going to do next, but I have ideas. I mean, obviously Mighty Number no. 9 comes out on the 21st, so that's going to be a Let's Play that I don't think will be very long. I don't think that game could be very long, although I could be wrong. It could be some, you know, Mega Man X length that I don't know about. Who knows? I'm sure there are people who have... What? 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 Hold up. No. I didn't sign up for this. What? What? Why? Why is there a random Ragman? Yeah, can, can you just locomote into that fire over there, Ragman? That'd be real nice. Just, just go the locomote into that fire and um, just just die a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit though. Cause th th this is not cool. Who said that was a good idea? Ragman, Ragman, a random small room? Are you trying to get me killed, game? I understand you don't like me to play you as much anymore, but are you trying to get me killed here? It looks like you're trying to get me killed. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely trying to get me killed. You pulling out the... The baddies in the item rooms here. I mean, Mr. Boom's not terrible. But it ain't great either. And if only we had a bomb, or a Mr. Boom charge, we could get the bed and... Uh, wait, what was I going for? Oh, and the potential cross, or no, the cross base. I was going to say potential black market, but it's... Oh! Damn. It's, it's obviously not going to be a black market. It's going to be a cross space with like three cents in it. I can already see. I'm going to hurt myself a couple times. Just have a little bit of easier... I didn't mean to get that third time, but sure. A little bit of an easier time against this boss. No, it's just Monstro. You need an easier time against Monstro, Dan. What a scrub. Monstro's like the first boss everyone fights in this game. More than likely. Actually, that, that's not entirely correct. Monstro tends to show up a lot on the second floor versus the first floor, but... Monstro is usually one of the first bosses that everyone becomes familiar with if they've played ever since the original, but... I don't know about, you know, of all time. I mean, what was I talking about just a while ago? I don't know. I, I've lost it. Yeah, my number nine's coming out soon. I've been questioning playing. Um, I've been trying to bring myself to try and get back on Tree of Savior and start grinding, but at the same time, like, there's no motivation to continue playing that because there's no friends playing. Oh, it is a freaking black market. Seems my reverse psychology has gamed the game into giving me the black market. Of which I will be taking car battery and nothing else. Yeah, because everything else is not that great. Though I don't know if I have Bogo Bombs in my collection. I don't think I've actually picked up Bogo Bombs as an item. But I'm not going to pay one heart for it. Hell no. Forget that. That That's not happening. What I do know is that all of my remaining items for um, 
normal platinum god are in the shop, I'm pretty sure. So, oh my god. So, there goes the black heart. Because I just realized our damage is a lot lower than it is because of the rage bonus. Oh man, Samson, Samson. Totally forgot your character, man. Even though we just played you a couple days ago, I'm pretty sure. I know we didn't, we got Bloody Lust. Like multiple times recently. We did not play Sammy Sone. Sammy, Sammy Sone. I was gonna talk about something, I forgot what it was. Damn it, I really did forget this time. Oh yeah, I was. How Dark Souls 3 seems to be like playable maybe twice before it just gets to be a boring drag. I, I guess that should be obvious, you know, you can only play one game so much. But I literally, for the first time ever, have played New Game Plus. And found that New Game Plus was basically a quicker version of the first playthrough. I mean, I guess it's because you are that you do have your character that's fully geared and all, but... Like, everyone, I remember hearing so much about people saying New Game Plus is, you know, plus to be harder when in reality I feel like I, I ran through the game easier like it, well, it took me like 18 hours or something to beat new game or Dark Souls 3 the first time which I guess is obvious because I mean it's I'm playing it blind I'm not gonna know where anything is but then playing it the second time through I think I beat it in like three or four hours and I think that's mainly because on New Game Plus, I literally just said, you know, I'm just going to run through everything and get to all the bosses and fight them. And because I already know basically all their patterns now, it's like, I, I guess it's no longer a challenge anymore. But I, I had to play through it three times just to get all the endings for the achievements, so. That worked out, I've seen all the endings, I guess I can say I'm satisfied with where I am on Dark Souls 3 now, just... Just gotta wait for some DLC to get released, whenever that may be in about three years when it doesn't get released who knows why is that re relevant right now don't ask me wait what how did that explosion hit you yes yeah, saw that right what was that I didn't even know I could even hit that bomb range that far though what I don't need right now is a Krampus fight I'm mean, I'll take either item you want to give me but I really don't like fighting Krampus when you have these four blocks in the middle, personally. I need room to maneuver or else you're just gonna like clip me with the laser when you eventually do the rotating, rotato laser of death. I know you want to. You want to so bad, but you just didn't do it. You just didn't do it. And I thank you for not doing it. Well, it's a good thing we got that black market then, cause... We got devil deals for the rest of the game here. Because we bought um, car battery. So now I think about it. We have car battery head of Krampus, which is pretty good. Probably will insta-kill any boss more than likely. But obviously the problem is we need some base damage. Which, I mean, we did get out of synth oil. But at the same time, like, this is not going to do much. Oh, we don't even have to worry about devil deal chance anymore. So this would be the run to stack some major HP on. Cause we have Maggie's bow as well to like super heal us with any red hearts we get, whether no matter how small. So honestly, this would be the run to just stack up. Maybe if we can get there to max 12 HP, and if not that, then you know pick up items that have a chance to drop red hearts. A Gimpy would be a really good pickup for this run. Old Bandage would be a really good pickup. The classic. Um, uh, not the Dead Sea Scrolls. The classic Bloody Penny into like Piggy Bank or something would be a pretty good pickup. Just there's a lot of good pickups we could get on this run. That'll help us use Bloody Lust to its advantage so we're not seemingly doing no damage on every floor. Until we get hit a couple times. Which like that, I'm gonna leave that there. Oh man. Yeah, I've lost my train of thought this morning. I don't really know what I wanted to speak about they I pretty much speak about everything yesterday and not really anything has happened this morning that I really need to talk about other than me being a typical nuisance to people I want to talk to through text but you know that's every day with that 
That is every day with that. I get really, I get really weird acting around or talking to people or talking to girls that I like. And not, not like weird in the sense where I just say weird things. It's just, I feel like I start acting a little bit more clingier than normal. To use the right word there. Wow, that was a terrible Krampus' head. But this is a terrible layout for a room for Krampus' head, so. I guess if I would have stood still, it would have hit everything, but. Whatever. And as I was saying, though. When, I, when I'm talking to, when I'm trying to text girls, I feel like I get a lot more clingier than I normally am. And I'm like, I'm like a normal clinger, okay? If someone wants to make, if someone like makes the effort to talk to me, and I have fun talking to you the first time, then I'm more than likely going to try and talk to you again. Not, not all the time, but you know, just, just every so often. And then I, I get kind of clingy, you know. I'm not saying I like being clingy because then my my mind in my mind I'm just like, well, I'm probably being a creep to this person, you know. Which is why like I freaking every time I get I get I basically question whether I'm bothering her all the time because I talk to her seemingly all the time and she keeps telling me that I'm not, you know. That it's okay, and I'm like, I don't, I don't believe you. <laughs> but you know, whatever. I don't really know. You guys know me. My my um my self esteem tends to let me question absolutely everything. Because normally, normally nothing good comes from me speaking to anyone at all. So there's that. But you know, things will happen. Things will happen. Just gotta give them time, let let these next few months, years play out. Everything will be good. Oh, why use that there? Oh, never mind, that works. Satanic Bible, which is actually really good with car batteries, so we should just take it. Should we keep it, though? Oh, man. I don't know what to do in this situation. This situation right here in which we have a choice between the boss killer or the health giver. And I think in this case, since we are playing Samson with Bloody Lust, and we're about to pick up a little Chad, which would give us one full heart every, what, two rooms? Because of Maggie's bow. I think we might want to go with Satanic Bible. But the problem is there, Al is the fact that to hurt myself I would have to not use my or use my black hearts first before using the red hearts which sucks but at the same time they're like cannibalizing each other oh um, forget everything because we're just gonna buy dark judas and then we're gonna die and come back as said dark judas we might as well buy this plot that down um die We are now the Dark Judas, and now we definitely take Satanic Bible above everything else. I think we keep Bloody Lust. I'm gonna go back and find the rest of the floor. At least it looks like we keep Bloody Lust. I hope we keep Bloody Lust, even though we're not technically Samson anymore. Gonna get the Eternal Heart. Gonna look for the other item room, and we're gonna be on our way. I mean, I see Bloody Lust. The icon is still right there. So clearly, I presume we're going to keep that item. No matter what. But, I've been wrong before. I mean, when you when you go from being... Actually, you know, that's a, that's a dumb reference. That's a dumb analogy. I was going to say, when you go from being a Zazel to someone else, you lose the Brimstone Beam. But that's not actually, you know, Brimstone. That's just... That's just freaking Azazel's attacking method. So that's not a good analogy at all. And I was going to try to say the same thing for Lilith, but it works the same way there. Incubus is not an item you start with, that's just the way she attacks. So it's just definitely some dumb decisions, or some dumb analogies there. You can get a free reroll on everything on the floor too, which is awesome. Now remember, you only have two hearts, Dan, so don't die. This seems to be a high 
But this room has high prevalence for you dying in the past. And this one as well, kinda. Not really dying, but taking a lot of crazy damage that is not necessary at all. Parasite, on the other hand, pretty good. Parasite, an item that seemingly doesn't show up too often. Along with Cricket's body and all those other fun items and such. Fanny pack would be one of those items I was talking about. Am I gonna buy out this shop? Nah, I'm just gonna buy the spear heart. I don't feel like blowing up the nation machine. So what's the item back there? In the item room? I forgot what it was. Oh, excuse me, sorry. It's still early, so I'm still trying to wake up here. Oh, Dead Sea Scrolls, that's what it was. Now it's no longer Dead Sea Scrolls. It is now holy water. I have said it, so now it should become reality. And the, uh... Krampus' head... Or no. I think that's Krampus' head right there. Should be. The Krampus, oh, it's Aquarius. The Krampus' head shall become another Devil Deal item. Yo, we haven't had in a while Brimstone. Wait, yeah we have. Did we have Brimstone recently? Or no? I remember playing with Brimstone for some reason. That may have been a dream. Or maybe it was maybe a couple episodes ago where I said we couldn't win with base damage Brimstone? Did we? Oh, it's Guppy's Paw. That's interesting. I don't remember. What the heck? This won't get rerolled because it's, yeah, that doesn't count as a room. Uh, I'm a bit weirded out now. Did I did I not have a recent brimstone run or said I can't win on base damage brimstone? Oh, you yeah, know that that was on the Azazel run yesterday. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, my memory is so bad. Oh my god. I can't move that. My memory like comes in spurts, man. If I remember myself, if I end up saying something or hearing something that I remember hearing before, my memory will just, you know, come to life. And be like the best memory ever and just like the full memory will play out in just full you know 720p hd vision in my head you know i remember right off the bat but if it's something i don't remember that much of just nope wait are you stuck behind that tnt barrel wow i don't think i've ever seen that happen before that sucks for you war sucks for you um, I guess I'll buy Rotten Baby. For the cheap price of one heart. The only one we had. I've never seen War get stuck on a TNT barrel like that. Especially when it's already exploded. Man. You see something new every day. Whether it's bug glitches or just exploits or just random chance things that could happen. Oh my, were there three luck upgrades in there? Some of lucky pennies just extremely real. I need to go and wash my car today. But it's been really hot lately. I don't feel like getting out there. I'm a lazy piece of shit. No, 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 no. What am I doing? Hang on. I was about to buy PhD and then buy starter deck. And then I realized you can't really do that. <laughs> I think we should just take PhD and say screw start a deck on this run does it definitely cannibalize each other and that's not what I want you know for a run where I was supposed to supposedly you know hit myself a lot to get you know damage boost I'm not really doing that wait did blade lust disappear now oh no it's still there we just haven't gotten hit yet Oh man. Oh, we should get those pills. We never know what they could be. They could be anything. They can even be a balls of steel that we already know exists. Or a health upgrade. Health up. What's this one? Range up. Perfect. See Dan, this is why you don't 
know, take starter deck after my PhD. This is your lesson for today. You will learn to respect the PhD. Sure, I love me some starter deck. But this is not the run for starter deck. Not today. Maybe some other time. Maybe some other time. Oh man. I don't know why. Just so it just seems like it's gonna be a quiet day. You ever get that feeling? Just your day starts out and just it just feels like nothing is gonna happen today. Just a normal run of the mill Saturday. And just just from this episode, it just seems like it. And a lot of times I just question if I really should keep Isaac as a staple this time around, you know? Because there are some times where I, f I find myself not able to continue playing this game sometimes, you know? I'm not saying that I'm tired of it. I'm just saying that I don't really know... Wait. I did have one red heart, right? Yeah, okay. I don't know, I feel like it might get old eventually, and I'm not someone like Northern Lion who has like just an endless supply of commentary or just like you know, random tangents or more entertainable compared to, you know, someone like him. So for me, it's like, I enjoy the game so much, but I feel like I, sometimes I get burned out on Isaac, and I, I can feel it on some runs, especially the runs where I get impatient. Because, you know, bad RNG or any other reason like that. And I don't like, I don't like the fact that I, that even crosses my mind. I guess I'm just ready to start, you know, using mods again and playing different mod packs and such. So, I need to spice up the Isaac game a little bit. And playing purely for achievements has never really been my thing. And, but I do know I damn well do not want to go and play. You know what? I'm just going to pop out. I guess I'm never going to use it anyway. Oh my god. I can't say I, I didn't deserve that. Cannot say I didn't deserve that. It was literally one play away. One play away. Man. Yeah, I'm not I'm not saying I'm gonna quit Isaac. I'm just saying like I know it's my staple now for you know talking about my day and such and I like that. I just I guess I just need to spice it up a little bit. I just wish I could keep you know keep a variety of stuff on the channel, you know. Cause as much as I play this game, this is not you know, it's not primarily an Isaac channel either. I just wish I just had an endless supply of games I could continue playing, which kind of brings me to my suggestion of maybe I'm going to go with what someone told me to try and play on the live stream. And I might just play, you know, Final Fantasy, since I've never actually played through that game. You know, give it the kind of the Kingdom Hearts tryout that I did before, where I tried Kingdom Hearts since I've never played through it at all. And I ended up liking Kingdom Hearts a lot. I mean, I, I knew I was going to like Kingdom Hearts, but I, like, really liked Kingdom Hearts. I couldn't believe I've never played through the game before, and then I realized, wait, I never had a PS2, except for, like, you know, when I did, but I never owned Kingdom Hearts. Because I never actively bought games for the PS2, because by the time I had a PS2, it was about the time where I was joining the PC gaming era, aka playing Mobby on my laptop, and, you know, that was... You know, times in my life where consoles basically started to get phased out. It's hard to believe, you know, if it wasn't for PC gaming, I don't know where I'd be today. I don't know what type of games I'd be playing. I probably would have went down the Sony path, to be honest. If I if I didn't have a computer, I probably definitely would have went down the, the Sony path and got a PS4. Th there's just so many more games I can relate to and enjoy on PlayStation versus Xbox. 
But I'm not taking sides, because I know that that argument is just prevalent on the internet. Freaking, you know, Xbox fanboys, you know, slandering the opposite for, you know, obviously saying one is better than the other. And you're just going to have that in general. You can't really avoid, you know, someone saying something is better because, you know, there's a bias. There's just a bias. There's really nothing you can do about that. See, I'm going to go sack off uh, six black hearts to this self-sacrifice room. Or seven, I mean, in order to potentially get an angel room payout. Because I have the spare HP sitting around here, and this is the last floor, so... Or, last floor that I would want to do this on. Of course, we gotta wait for the black card animation every time, but that's okay. Alright. This should be six. And this should be the potential angel room payout. Crown of Light. Yes, it was so worth it. Oh, I didn't know Crown of Light gave you two spirit hearts. What? Oh my god. So on this floor, we picked up Crown of Light and Cricket's Head. Maybe we'll just pick up a four times damage upgrade right there. I mean, four times our whatever our damage was. As long as we don't get hit in the room. And when we do get hit, we'll go down to two times because of Cricket's Head. But still, my god. This escalated. Oh, and Rotten Baby's flies are going to be doing... Even more on top of that, so this is just insane. I think we should go down to the to the dark room on this run, since we're strong enough. Oh! And we almost become Guppy. Almost. Wait, do we have any Guppy at it? We picked up Guppy's paw. I thought we picked up the tail, too. We did not. So we could take Dark Bum, get the Dark Shad combination together, take Guppy's head, and I think we keep Guppy's head. Because... Just the da wait no 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 We're going down in the dark room. I have a feeling we're gonna become Guppy on this run. This will probably be one of the strongest Guppy's runs that aren't, you know, breaking runs or ridiculously overpowered runs. Well this is pretty overpowered as it gets, but still. You know what I mean. Oh, we should take safety cap. We should definitely take safety cap. We have we have PhD, we want pills. This could be one of the strongest natural Guppy runs if we were to become Guppy. Because of all these damage outs we have, man. Uh, we're Dark Judas. We freaking have Cricket's Head, Crown of Light. We're, I think, one away from Spun, or we might be two away from Spun. I don't, I don't really know how far away from Spun we are. Let's just say our, our flies are doing stupid damage right now. Gonna leave the HP there. Oh my god, that was three flies! Three flies just killed mom's heart! That's how much damage we're doing right now. And you know what, I think I'd rather pay one HP for the pact than pay, you know, three spare hearts for the pact. Although it's not, it's not a crazy price to pay, but it's a better price. Uh, and you know what, we're gonna fight Hush, because we haven't fought Hush in like forever. And Hush deserves love too. Hush needs some love too sometimes. We have six keys though, so that's not enough. This is terrible. This is terrible. Wow, this is this is all terrible. Oh, hive mind though. So now Rotten Baby is just gonna do more damage than we can even put out. Might as well buy a fanny pack and might as well buy the battery. And then we just open all these. Alright, we might as well pick up some of these items. Can't just leave them here. I guess take this. And I guess here we take... Uh, I don't really like scapegoat's randomness. I guess I'll take BBF. Does this rubber car battery? Nope. It's unfortunate. Alright, here we go. Let's go, Hush. We need to get, you know, not get hit for as long as possible so we don't lose our our crown of light bonus here. But yeah, I, I'm, I'll be excited, you know. I'm not saying I don't like this game, but... Because but I, I love this game. Why, why would I also, would I still be playing it, obviously. But it'll be a lot more fun when I get, you know, more 
mods coming out and I'm able to just play everyone's different ideas of ways to play Isaac and such and it'll, it'll be a lot of fun at least I hope it'll be a lot of fun oh man oh my god um um okay okay up oh, there goes that we're now back to normal tiers Oh man, too bad this isn't lusty blood. We'd be freaking set for damage. Now, I have to say, it's not a wise decision that I came to hush with no orbitals. We have one orbital, crown, I mean, Cuban meat, but. Not, not the best decision I've ever had. Not the best decision I've ever had. At all. But I tell you, playing so much Isaac has helped me, you know, in a lot of bullet hell games lately, though. Like, I feel like I wouldn't be nearly as decent at certain bullet hell games if I haven't played, if I've never played a, a lot of Isaac. I mean, that, that doesn't change the fact that I'm terrible at freaking Into the Gungeon, because, goddamn, no matter how good I am at Isaac, it's not gonna help me in Gungeon at all. Just Gungeon is freaking in a league of its own right now. But I guess, you know, had I committed to playing more Gungeon and 100%ing Gungeon on video and playing a lot more of it every day, I would have actually, you know, been able to get better at it. And now I just play Gungeon every, you know, every so often when I'm bored. Or when I'm waiting for something, say, to render out or etc. I just play a round of Gungeon. And then Gungeon just makes me upset sometimes when I have, like, a strong run and I still can't win. Even when I potentially have probably one of the strongest weapons in the game just the game is that hard for me I'm not saying it's to anyone else but it is for me oh man yeah that game just in a league all of its own remember to go down Dan we're going to the dark room to make the guppy dream come true to please the flying cat gods. Going down. Like that one mod that made you fight Hush on every run, you know, at the end game. That was a pretty good mod. I don't remember which mod that was, but I really like that mod. God mode was a fun mod. Even the Undertale mod was pretty good. Even if it's just like visual changes, I like the change. You know, the change is nice. Even if it's just like a small change, it makes me feel like I'm playing just a brand new game, or even a slightly different game with the same mechanics. You know. That's why I'm really excited for Afterbirth Plus. You know, I'll be able to. You know, check out everyone's ideas. I, I, I don't know if Workshop will be a thing, but I'll be able to see what everyone's rated the highest and check them out. You know, check out any new and potential upcoming mod packs and do videos on that. Eventually, you know, I'll, I'll become like some kind of weird pseudo mod pack reviewer slash player, you know, or tester or whatever you want to call it. And that'll be fun. That'll be fun. And we can still do that now, but there's not a there's not a huge prevalence of mod packs nowadays to play because everyone's waiting for Afterbirth Plus to be able to use more features and you know I think it's like Lua scripting or something will be available in Afterbirth Plus so that's why everyone's excited for it because you'll be able to change the mechanics of the game that you can't just do in normal mod tools apparently and that's what I'm excited for I'm not excited mod I'm just excited to see what everyone's got in store I'll try and make my own mod pack you know, with the tools they've given me, but likely that's not gonna happen. Pandora's box again for like the 100,000th time for it to show up down here in the dark room gives us nothing for the price of nothing. Now I just need to hurt myself a few times to get some rage bonus going on. Yeah, we have so many hearts right now. I'll use bonds. This is gonna be a little bit slow. 
I'm just gonna start running into stuff. Infested. I won't get my full damage bonus here. Hurt me! Hurt me more! It hurts so good! Sure? And we'll use some of these spirit hearts back here. So I can hurt myself faster. I think I've uh, hurt four times or was that six times? I don't really remember. There. Now we're good. We're full rage bonus, crown of light active, cricket's head. Now our damage will be officially insane. We will be one shotting everything. Not really one shot, but you know, a couple of shotting. I imagine the flies are going to be one-shotting everything, though. Wish I had spider mod on this run to tell me how much damage I have, because... Or I just wish I had the, um... The hidden stat... Revealer thing. Hey, why am I holding Wheel of Fortune? I should be blowing this up for another item. What is that? Remote detonator. And his AWAS does nothing, so I don't know why I'm holding on to that either. I just got hit by famine. Let that sink in. We just got hit by famine in the dark room. When we have like probably the most damage we've had in like a week. And it just goes to tell you that 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 su sacrifice room mechanic, dude. I love the sacrifice room mechanic. If I have regenerable health, regenerative health. I guess it's a better word to say it. It's not even a. That's not even the word I'm looking for. If I have regenerating health, or an ability to spawn more health in the game, hell yeah, I'm gonna go for the Soul Sacrifice mechanic. I just love that. Just even if it's a 50% chance to get an Angel Room item, I love, I love the chance of randomness. Dan, you really do have a gambling problem. Maybe, but it's still fun. It doesn't change the fact that it's still fun. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just fun. That's what the fun part is about roguelites sometimes, is the random aspect. Sure, it's not so fun when you don't get, you know, the items you need to win, but you have the tools needed to win the run all the time. You just gotta find them in the run. Use all your advantages that the game gives you, and you'll be pretty much good to go. Now, um, yeah, bye, lamb. Jeez, just destroyed it. Destroyed it. Destroyed it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the run today. If you did, please if you like this episode, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Because there will always be rising every single day. Why, yarn? Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next Isaac run. See you then.